I'm upset for two reasons. One of which being Moon Knight and the way it ended. You owe me an ending, Moon Knight. Um, the second reason I'm upset is because I just recorded this all and then, but I wasn't recording any audio. So, god dang, that's just the funness of recording in the morning. I'm Hossman. Welcome to Moon Knight Madness, where the Moon Knight is just maddening. And this is Moon Knight Episode 6, the finale. Spoilers if you haven't seen it, so go see it. Oh, that ending just, was it all for nothing then? Like, We'll get to it. There was a post credit scene, and that was good, too. On a whole, it was a decent enough episode. Nothing really spectacular. Marvel, kind of semi-paint-by-numbers, but not quite paint-by-numbers. But Mark going out into the duot and sacrificing himself for Steven was really nice, I guess, but at the same time, it's like it's, 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 it's an acceptance, an internal acceptance of what they are and the duality of the two of them. And then it was really nice to see them later, like, tag-teaming uh, as Moon Knight. They were like switching between Mr. Knight and Moon Knight and beating up Harrow and stuff. And that was really cool to see. It was nice. The Moon Knight costume still did not grow on me whatsoever. I didn't like it by the end still. I didn't dislike it by sure. I didn't like it. It didn't grow on me. The Mr. Knight costume grew on me, which is interesting because I don't, I'm not as fond of that one in the comics. Even though it's like it's a fine design. It's just, it's a white suit. It's cool. I like the look of it in the show. And then Layla became the avatar for Tawaret, the hippo goddess lady. And that was pretty cool, and I don't know if that's a pre-existing character or not. I don't believe so, so I'm just going to call her the Golden Falcon, because she was very Falcon-like. <laughs> and she seemed to be enjoying it. Also, it was really cool seeing uh, the gods, Amit and Kanchu, fighting in the background, like these giant gods fighting in the background while Moon Knight and Hera were fighting in the foreground. That was really cool visually. I enjoyed that. Like, Action-wise, it was good. Although, at the point, like, uh, Jake Lockley, a third persona, came out and just wiped house with everything like we didn't see how he got out of there and defeated Harrow and that's fine but you understand he just kind of went into a mad rage and beat the shit out of everything Layla would have seen that but how long was she pinned to that car because she she got out pretty easily right after that or like did he cause all that destruction in a matter of seconds don't know don't know we got more questions coming up and then uh, you know, he's not gonna kill him I get that and he's like release us can't you and can't you? He's like yeah no that's fine and Stephen and Mark are released, and then they go back to the insane asylum in their head. And I don't quite understand what that was. Oh, Harrow's feet are bleeding. And it's like, is that because reality is bleeding through to their fake memory that they built for themselves? Because he had the glass in his shoes. They never knew he had the glass in his shoes, so I don't know why his feet are bleeding and what that has to do with anything. And then just wake up, and they're in bed, and now it's like, what's going on? Is he still Moon Knight? No, he's not still Moon Knight. They're, they're Stephen and Mark, and they're still living in, they're in peace now, but we're still right back to the beginning, the status quo. Like, they, they still, they're losing time to this third person, so they're still chaining themselves to the bed. But where's Layla? Did Layla continue being the Golden Falcon over in Egypt? Because she seemed to be enjoying that. She said it was only temporary, but the kid was like, hey, are you an Egyptian superhero? And she's like, yes, I am. So, you know, but they're, they're still Stephen and Mark. He's like, oh, I can't believe you live in this dump. And it's like... But why are you back in this dump? Like, what? And, and, and that's not an ending that I wanted. That's not an ending that we deserve. And that's infuriating. And then, of course, the post credit scene. And the name of that psychiatric center was the Sinkowitz Psychiatric Center, or Sinkovich. Uh, Bill Sinkowitz was one of the artists that really kind of defined Moon Knight. Right away, as soon as I saw the black gloves, I was like, well, who is this? And I thought, oh, what Marvel character might this be? Is there going to be a cameo here from someone else? But then, as soon as I saw the reflection, you know, the Jake Lockley cap, and I was like, oh, well, that's actually, that's going to be Jake Lockley. Oh, that's kind of neat, actually. And then when we finally did see Jake Lockley, he did not have a mustache, and I was like, well, I guess I'm disappointed he doesn't have a mustache, but that's honestly neither here nor there. Jake Lockley was Hispanic, so that ties in nicely with my whole is Moon Knight racist video. Kanji was like, I don't need Stephen or Mark. I don't need Layla. I have Jake Lockley. And Jake Lockley is the third more brutal, you know, he decimated the whole thing, and he's willing to kill Harrow and whatnot. It just raises more questions, like Stephen and... Mark now have a third identity. So it's just, you know, the beginning of the series, Stephen was like, oh, who am I? Where am I going at night? I didn't know. And now it's like, who are we? I don't know. Oh, we have to chain ourselves to the bed. I know there's a third personality. This is weird. But then they're still just, you know, like, do they have the job? Well, they wouldn't have the job at the museum still. Like, do, do they have another job? Like, and Oscar Isaac isn't signed. Like, they, if they don't make an announcement, in the next week or so about what the future of Moon Knight is. And they say, they say don't meet your heroes. And I guess it is the same for like, don't have your heroes adapted. Because if you're like a huge fan of the comic and you've invested a lot of time and you're really sunk into the comics, an adaptation will never satisfy you as this Moon Knight just 
that didn't satisfy me on a whole of all the Disney series. I think Loki's still the best because it was like a really good entertaining show that had twists and turns and still ties to the greater universe. Like it meant things for the greater universe. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, kind of the same thing. Like it talked about the bigger picture. Hawkeye was just fun and established heroes. WandaVision was good. The lack or half any uh, way um, but this, this this doesn't even necessarily have to be in the mcu and if it's never followed up on what's the fucking point george clooney had nothing to do with it leaving the future uncertain would have been fine if it was like set up in a different direction like oh hey yeah, we're heroes now you know we don't have the power but i'm still putting on a moon knight costume a homemade moon knight costume it looks more like moon knight and we're gonna go out and fight crime and setting up the new status quo moving forward that's fine but if it's still just setting up another mystery that might not ever be paid off I don't care for that. Anyway, I guess, I don't know. Moon Knight's one of my favorite superheroes and it just was not one of my favorite shows. And maybe it's because I'm just too emotionally invested in it like an idiot. But on the plus side, I don't need to wake up early on Wednesday mornings anymore and watch or make these videos. I won't be doing it for Miss Marvel. I won't be doing it for Kenobi. I might come back and do it for She-Hulk because maybe I'll have forgotten. It was just disappointing. It was so disappointing. I've been Hotsman. Like and subscribe.